Hello RSTV and welcome to my crib. Welcome to the doghouse. We're working with the optimal 3x3 three three square right here. Now let me show you to the first room. This is our achievement gallery. We've got an ornate jewelry box full of all kinds of shiny stuff. We got this floaty thingy, don't really know what that does, and this desk. To be honest, I never use it. This is the backyard where all my animals like to roam. Gotta have plenty of space for the animals, you know? And that's the hot tub. What would be a crib without a hot tub? This is the workout room. You know I gotta stay fit. I guess that's just the streets in me. And this is the room where I make my plans, plans for world, world domination. domination. <laughs> <clears throat> Moving on. Now I've got something really cool to show you in this far room over this way. Wait, wait, cut. Real quick, cut. What's that room behind you? It looks kind of important. You keep skipping over it. Well, it's supposed to be full of costumes and outfits, but I've kind of neglected filling it. What? How are we supposed to compete with MTV with someone like you who's got no style and no fancy clothes? I, uh, uh. Pack it up, Simon. Let's go find a better crib. Hold up. I can do this. My entire life is collecting obscure items. Give me one day and I can fill this costume room full of items. Now we've got only 24 hours to complete this challenge and we gotta start off strong. So why not the evil chicken costume? Been saving up these bird eggs for a full year and we only need one more piece of the set. Let's see if we can get lucky. Oh, we get a dupe. Dupe of the legs. Oh, I was kind of expecting it. Our first dupe. Anything in this last inventory? All right, nothing. But to be honest, we're still pretty lucky here. <laughs> and finally got a dupe. Dupe legs, still need the head. 390 only though. The next set that I'm going for is a pretty easy one. It's the Corrupted set that came from a Christmas mini Crack of Clue event. To get it, you need to bring a random assortment of items to different NPCs around the game. And that one's complete as well. Next was supposed to be an easy one. Come on, man. I mean, that's gotta be good enough, right? It's just eel play legs. He's gonna polish them for me. I just had to reobtain the Artie Knight set that you get during the Song of the Elves quest. However, the wiki was throwing me through a loop and said you had to polish the plate legs with Edmund, but nothing would happen. So apparently they're just normal steel plate legs. Who knew? And now we have a fan favorite, the bomber outfit from the Enlightened Journey quest. This is a truly old school outfit, but I'm sure a few people know that you can actually add gnome goggles to this outfit, which honestly kind of makes it S tier. A few people will remember that I got the gnome goggles, about seven of them, from the third ever video that I put out. Another nostalgia fit, the builder's outfit from the Tower of Life quest. It says to try the beckon emote. Oh, that's cool. You like whistle. Next are some outfits you might not know even existed and have probably never seen in game. The camouflage outfit that come from the tracking method with Hunter. And these outfits are pretty much useless. Hopefully Jagex will update those with the new Hunter Guild. We'll have to wait and see. And this Hunter method is pretty excruciating in a number of ways as well. Please, please update this before the Hunter Guild. But here are all four of them. Completed, 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 completed. Time for everybody's favorite warm clothing, the very first Clue Hunter outfit, and the elusive Helm of Raidwall, which took the player base 377 days to complete this clue and find this helm for the first time. We 
We got another RNG craving, so decide to open the enhanced Elven Crystal chest to get the Dragonstone armor, which is a 1 out of 2,500 chance to receive a single piece. Starting off with 40 keys, you do get some keys back, so ended up opening 55 chests in total, and unfortunately, no unique. Now I do quickly want to let you guys know that I did stream most of this progress on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash agiletom. So if you're into live content, head on over there and give me a follow. Now that we've finished most of the easy slots in the costume room, it's time to knock out some of the harder grinds. First off, we're gonna go for the Fremnic armors, Rock Shell for melee, Spine for range, and Skeletal for magic. The first monster we're going to kill is the King Sand Crab. They have a similar drop table to the King Rock Crab, but are a lot easier to kill. And these drop the gloves, the boots, and the components to make the Rock Shell set. To get the spine armor, you need to specifically kill the Dagonoss level 88 in the Water Birth dungeon. And then the final monster that you have to kill for the skeletal armor are Wallasalkis. Uh, best place to kill them is on your way to DK's where it's multi. And just check out this RNG. I got all three of the pieces I needed back to back to back while I went up to get the bathroom. And then I have a live reaction from when I got back. Oh my god, how many did we get? Skeletal gloves, skeletal boots, and. Oh, I just completed it! That's all I needed! I was gone for like two seconds! What the hell? So I've never done this before, but we're going to make the armors here. Rock crab armor. I need a. Fine helm. <laughs> and sturdy bodyguard. Sturdy bodyguard. Leg armor. Yes. Walowski armor, 
Fine Helm. Let's take a look at some of the stuff because it's kind of cool too. <laughs> you never see anybody wear this. <laughs> the helm is so funny. The plate body is pretty cool though. It does look like a third age plate body but darker. Then spines, pretty cool too. That helm is sick, to be honest. And then skeletal helm is pretty funny. <laughs> Just looks like a haircut from the front. All right, so that's rock shell armor complete. And spined armor complete. And also skeletal outfit complete. Up next are the tribal masks from the Taibo Wanai cleanup minigame. These masks I've never had to get before, but I have gone for gout tubers in the past. Full disclosure, I do get very lucky on gout tubers, as you see the first one right here. So let's see how long it takes for me to get them all. Yes, got one of them. Looks dope, honestly. Nice. Two out of three. Woo. Oh, I got another gout tuber. <laughs> Money. Woo. Bonus. Oh my god, I got another one. Oh shit. She got the uh got the brooder victim. Oh yeah. Right one. Finally, drop that crap. I have a mask. <laughs> that took a long time, man. That took way longer than I wanted it to. Let's finally put these in the POH though. Holy, where are they? There they are, finally. Five million into desk copper. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's great though. I love that. Not a complete waste of time, I guess. Our next activity gets a lot of hate, and I know because I used to hate too, but it actually turns out to be really fun, and that's quest speedrunning. I would say the only problems with this content is that it takes up five game worlds for no reason, and for some reason it's not on the collection log. But this video isn't solely about quest speedrunning, so let's just skip to the good parts. Got bronze? Oh. Wait, no. Gold. Got gold. Okay. Is that even gonna be faster? Yeah? Hmm. Guess I did. Guess I did improve enough, even though I like lagged heavily in the middle of that. Ah, that was gold. We'll take that. Fair enough. Pretty easy points there. There we go. Get a platinum rank. Well, that's a lot of points, actually. 800. Oh. I don't have trophies. But I can buy this. Okay, so I want tier 1, tier 2. I'll get the teleport some other time. Nice. Not bad. The, the tier 3 one looks really good though. With only two hours remaining and just a few slots to go that aren't very time consuming, decided to go for a fun slot as I was only three Dieter Bloods away from getting the 500 TOB cape. And at the same time, I have a decent chance to get Justicier Chest Guard, which is the last piece of the Justicier set that I need. Let's see if we can get lucky. Nice.
purple. Woo! It's gotta be the scythe now. Go quick. Oh! <laughs> Uh, the right thing finish off the challenge. I almost completely forgot about this one <laughs> but We can talk to this guy and claim a new cape There you go 500 TOB cape and also a collection log slot as well we can put that into our POH and that will conclude it. Alright, we've filled up everything that we can and this is where we're at. 60 out of 100 on the armor case. Quick little scroll through. And in Magic Wardrobe, we're 44 out of 82. Quick little scroll through. And finally, the Magic Cape Rack. Quick scroll through. And that's what we have. We'll definitely try to fill more slots over time, but I'm pretty happy with all the fashion scape we've got now. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed, please leave a comment, a like, and consider subscribing. Definitely do more fun videos like this. And next, I'm going to stack 1,000 hard clues, so stay tuned for that.